Can a motorcycle cater to both beginners and experts alike? Kawasaki seems to have found the sweet spot with their Z400 model, offering a balance of accessibility for newcomers and excitement for seasoned riders. Now, they've upped the ante with the Z500, building upon the success of its predecessor while enhancing its performance and aesthetics. In 2024, Kawasaki introduces the Z500, inheriting the engine platform from the Ninja 400 and Z400, but with a stroke increase resulting in a 451 cubic centimeters displacement. Sporting refreshed Sagomi styling, including redesigned bodywork, a larger tank, LED lighting, and an updated LCD display, the Z500 commands attention on the road. Available in two versions, the base model and the SE model, the Z500 caters to different preferences and budgets, with both featuring ABS as standard. The SE variant boasts additional perks such as a vibrant TFT display and a suite of genuine Kawasaki accessories for added customization. But who is the Z500 designed for? Kawasaki emphasizes its appeal to new riders, echoing the success of the Z400 among those with limited experience on two wheels. Positioned as an entry into Kawasaki street bike range, the Z500 serves as a stepping stone for riders aspiring to climb the brand's lineup. In essence, the 2024 Kawasaki Z500 strikes a balance between beginner-friendly features and the thrill sought by experienced riders, making it a compelling choice for anyone looking to join the Kawasaki community and embark on their two-wheel journey. What makes the Z500 so welcoming to novice riders? While price certainly plays a role, it's the overall demeanor of the motorcycle that truly stands out. Its engine delivers power smoothly and predictably, with ample low-end torque for easy maneuvering through city streets. The inclusion of a slipper-slash-assist clutch enhances its usability, especially in stop-and-go traffic scenarios. With a seat height of 30.9 inches and a claimed curb weight of 370 pounds, SE model, the Z500 is accessible and controllable for a wide range of riders. Standing at 5 feet, 8 inches with a 28-inch inseam, I find it effortless to firmly plant both feet on the ground. Moreover, its dimensions, including a 54.1-inch wheelbase, 24.5-degree rake, and 3.6-inch trail, contribute to nimble handling in urban environments while maintaining stability on open roads. Kawasaki's intent with the Z500 is clear, to present a motorcycle that is approachable, user-friendly, and manageable. While these traits might sound conventional, they are precisely what make the Z500 easy to ride, catering primarily to newer riders. However, it would be a mistake to pigeonhole the Z500 as merely a lightweight beginner bike. Its capable chassis and spirited engine offer a thrilling experience for riders of all skill levels. Evidence of this can be seen in local club races, where skilled riders on Ninjas and Z400S demonstrate the Z500's performance prowess. The heart of the 2024 Kawasaki Z500 is its 451 cubic centimeters DOHC liquid-cooled parallel twin engine mated to a six-speed transmission featuring a slipper and assist clutch. This power plant, also found in the 2024 Eliminator and slated for the 2024 Ninja 500, produces a claimed 51 horsepower at 10,000 RPM and 31.7 pound FT of torque at 7,500 RPM. Dyno tests conducted by Cycle World on the 2024 Eliminator revealed 47.2 horsepower at 10,430 RPM and 29.03 pound FT of torque at 7,510 RPM. Feeding the engine are dual 32mm throttle bodies, working in conjunction with a 70 by 58.6mm bore and stroke, and an 11.3 to 1 compression ratio. The primary objective behind increasing the engine displacement from 399 cubic centimeters to 451 cubic centimeters, achieved through a 6.8mm longer stroke, was to enhance low-end torque. The Z500 delivers commendable torque at lower RPMs, ideal for urban commuting and relaxed cruising. However, its standout feature is its versatility, providing strong acceleration across the rev range. With a robust bottom end, potent mid-range, and lively top end, the parallel twin engine offers performance across a broad spectrum, from leisurely rides to spirited bursts, spanning from idle to its 11,000 RPM redline. 
Carving through corners on country roads, the Z500's engine boasts ample low-end torque for accelerating out of turns, complemented by robust mid-range and top-end power that allows riders to push a gear to its limits before shifting, or even delay shifting altogether to carry momentum into the next bend. This adaptability, combined with the parallel twin's quick-revving nature, ensures ample passing capability on highways. With legs that comfortably propel it beyond freeway speeds, the Z500 effortlessly maintains pace with traffic. While some vibration is transmitted through the handlebar, seat, and foot pegs, it remains manageable and doesn't detract from the overall experience. The 2024 Kawasaki Z500's chassis features a non-adjustable 41mm telescopic Showa fork with 4.7 inches of travel, a bottom-link Unitrack shock offering 5-way adjustable preload and 5.1 inches of travel, and a lightweight steel trellis frame. Utilizing the engine as a stressed member, rigid mounts, mounting brackets, and an aluminum swing arm are all connected to the power plant for optimal rigidity. These design choices translate into a solid and well-balanced ride across various conditions. Navigating urban environments, the Z500 maintains composure over rough pavement and concrete surfaces, offering a smooth and controlled ride. On winding back roads, its lightweight build impresses, delivering stability and confidence even at high speeds. Transitioning through corners is seamless, with the chassis and suspension exhibiting minimal flex or instability. Steering is responsive and intuitive, making quick directional changes effortless. Suspension tuning leans towards the stiffer side, prioritizing performance on smooth surfaces while sacrificing some initial comfort over rough terrain. However, when the road is favorable, the Z500 suspension rewards the rider with precise feedback, ensuring a connected and confidence-inspiring ride. Equipped with 17-inch wheels shod with Dunlop Sportmax GPR 300 tires, the bike maintains clarity and responsiveness, with no ambiguity about tire behavior. Under hard braking into corners, the fork remains composed, providing ample support for spirited riding maneuvers. The brake setup on the Kawasaki Z500 consists of a 310mm semi-floating disc paired with a dual-piston Nissan caliper at the front, and a 220mm disc coupled with a dual-piston Nissan caliper at the rear. Both components exhibit commendable performance. The front brake offers ample stopping power that builds up progressively as the rider applies more pressure to the lever. Even when navigating winding canyon roads at a brisk pace, the front brake consistently and predictably slows the bike without triggering ABS intervention. The rear brake is easy to modulate, making it convenient for tasks such as approaching stoplights or decelerating for corners. However, heavy application of the rear brake, especially in combination with aggressive engine braking, can prompt ABS activation. In terms of ergonomics and displays, the Kawasaki Z500 follows the typical layout of a naked bike. Its upright riding position, paired with a one-piece handlebar, provides a comfortable and neutral stance for riders. Initially, the reach to the handlebar may feel slightly low, but as speed